We're coon hunting again in southern Indiana. Come along. Oh, Cindy leaves like she's late for work. It's a nice night. It was about 90 degrees today. Humidity has fell off. It's about 30%. Coming up on a full moon, but it's not quite full yet. See what we can get tree. Thanks for tuning in. She's in there about 450 yards. We'll kind of walk down this trail, see if we can't get a little closer. I don't know if you can hear about his hair strike. So coon hunting is a lot more than just turning a dog loose and hoping they hit a coon. A lot of it is knowing what your coons are feeding on at certain times of the year and putting your dog where the coons are. It's springtime here in southern Indiana and the coons in my area tend to feed on the buds on tulip poplar trees and also anything they can find along the creek, such as frogs and crawfish. I picked this area because this holler is full of tulip poplar trees that are budding out, and also the creek that parallels this trail that you can't see much of in the video has frogs and crawfish. Let's see what we can find. So as luck would have it, Cindy's gotten deep, and... I'm headed back to the car to see if I can't drive around and get closer to her. According to the tracker, she's up close to the road, so I want to get up there for safety reasons. All right, guys, so she got pretty deep. <clears throat> I was able to drive around and get within 80 yards of her. Um, she don't sound very good. Sounds like she's not real sure about it. So let's get out and go see what she's got. Just keeps locating. I'm not sure what's going on. I think there's some treetops and stuff in here, but it's starting to get late. I can't turn loose till after 10 o'clock around here in the summertime. You got up here in this cut over, it's pretty nasty. I just end up getting her and going home. Not got a whole lot of faith in this. It's pretty thick, bunch of treetops. She didn't sound right when she come on it. Sounds a little better now, but because she can hear me walking to her. <clears throat> Pollen's thick. Bet my bees are loving this.
Remember what I said about coons feeding on tulip poplar trees? It's hard to tell in the video, but that's what she's treed on. Let's see what she's got. For those that don't know, it's hard to find a coon up in a tree during the spring and summer months with all the leaves on. So you'll see me using a red light and blowing on a coon squalor to try to get the coon to look. A lot of times, the only thing you can see will be the glow of their eyes. I'm going to have to see if we can get the thermal out and find this one. If it's there. She's usually pretty accurate, but never know. There he is. Right there in the center of my camera, his eyeball shining there. She's got him. Let's go pet her up and get, go home. I gotta work tomorrow, it's getting late. Good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl, where's he at, huh, good girl, get on her, talk to him, had to go far for that one, didn't you girl, huh? thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Perry Freeze Outdoors.